the topic of the night is going to be a review. What? Yeah, we do those sometimes. Yep. So Supergirl just premiered on CBS. We got our pilot episode. It was an hour long. It was in a very awkward time slot, though, I thought. It was between 8.30 and 9.30. And oh, so I rather was like, than a full, like, rather than just a solid hour block like they usually give for yeah. hour long. That's why I, th I just thought it was weird. Now, you look at what's before it on CBS, and that is the Big Bang Theory, so I guess they were mm -hmm. trying to give it a very strong lead-in, but then it hits right up against Monday Night Football, and I, I think you're better off having Supergirl start at 8, so people will at least watch it through the first quarter of the football and then go over. But again, maybe they're just trying to start it off and give it a good um, you know, run-up show. What I wonder about that, too, is whether they had some kind of idea that they were going to different audiences during that time slot, which is not, not really fair, but people still think that comic books is reserved to one realm that is not sports like big bang and yeah, comic books but it, over it's, here. it's blurring the lines a lot more like i'm a huge sports fan no, but that's what i'm saying like i don't think it's a correct assumption at all i think yeah. there's lots of people that are especially with how big superhero movies and everything are right now there's it's true you gotta have people plenty of crossover now yeah. yeah there's there's a lot of crossover now it's almost like same level like who doesn't watch superhero stuff now is, is yeah, exactly what it is. yeah but so supergirl on the tv show now i don't like the name of it either i wish they would have gone with power girl but i guess supergirl Supergirl's, is more connected to superman yeah power Supergirl is the more is, known one at this point no i think power girl was the power girls was, was i believe that's still kara zorel I, I think they're the same character i'm not 100 percent sure but i don't believe there was two different ones in the in the the realm of um, DC. I, I would just say that I've seen more references to Supergirl than I have to Power Girl. I just I, think Power Girl's cooler. That's all I'm going to say. I, I won't disagree with you. <laughs> but, I'm just saying what, just popularity when you're looking at okay. name so recognition story, popularity. Yeah. So the story follows Kara zor -El. This is the cousin of Superman. Um, and she's launched into space at the same time Superman is, but she is I want to say like 10 years older when they get launched off and she's supposed to go to earth with kal -El, Superman and uh, protect him per se. But <laughs> something happens. She gets knocked off course and she ends up in the dead zone for like 24 years. And then the dead zone time stands still. And by the time she comes out of this dead zone, which they don't really explain how she got out of the dead zone. Cause it's really supposed to be a place where you just get locked in place forever. But somehow her pod shoots out of the dead zone but brings with it um, the Supermax prison called Fort Roz. And this is where the Kryptonians put a bunch of the baddies across the universe in jail. And more particularly, her mother did because she was like one of the leaders of uh, the Kryptonians. So um, it starts off, they do show a little bit for the prelude of, okay, here you go, jump in the spaceship. Okay, uh, Superman finds you. He gives you off to these nice people to raise you. And you decide you don't want to use your powers. And that's like literally five minutes we pick up. Boom, she's everyday hustle and bustle. And it, it's just, it's they're not doing the Smallville approach, which I'm kind of glad. It's more of a, all right, this is where her superhero career really starts. But uh, yeah, that, I, I would say with Supergirl, it was that just makes a copy off sense. of Superman. The whole story, yeah. the everything is almost. She I, works for a yeah. media magnet. Um, she's uh, you know every time she changes into Supergirl, she just takes off her glasses yeah. pretty much. Yeah. I guess she goes and does her hair too because every time she switches over to Supergirl, her hair looks a lot nicer. So maybe <laughs> while she's going super fast, she's like, "Let me brush it out real quick," and I guess she could go get it wet, fly really fast to like blow dry her hair automatically, and it comes out impeccable. So I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't I mean, know. That's it, just one thing I know. With Supergirl 2, I don't think the backstory matters that much. Like you were saying, she just seems like it's, it's Superman again. I it's always, Superman clone, yeah. You know, maybe people that are more into Supergirl would argue against it, but I always felt Supergirl, the whole idea was one, let's have another Kryptonian, two, let's just have a, a female Superman. And so they just kind of hashed together an awkward story that didn't necessarily make a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, to to put this in because it's like uh, okay, so we have this popular character Superman who's the biggest superhero ever, uh, but our story is that everyone else of his kind is dead. Yeah, how do we 
explain getting others like him and well, the female like version. Well, like General uh, Zod and stuff. So yeah, it, they do that with several times, majority. but it's just kind of them hashing in, like, okay, yeah. um, so I guess not everyone died after all. Yeah. Like, other people but, got sent off, but they had to uh, go into the dead zone for a while, and they didn't explicitly show up. Yeah, so it, it's just one of the things. Jimmy Olsen pops up, too, at one point, and it's really kind of cheesy. At one point he tells her that he was sent by Superman to keep an eye on her. So it's just, it was one of those things that was weird. Uh, but let's get into the real review of it. So that's a basic synopsis of the story there, but the acting, um, the, the actress who plays Supergirl is Melissa Benoist. Um, it might be Benoit, but, um, there's an S in there. So I'm going to go with Benoist. Uh, and she plays a decent part. She's not overly convincing, but she, she, she does a good enough job. I mean, she definitely can differentiate her character, which is something Superman did in Clark Kent. You know, Clark Kent is one way. He's the meek and he's the, 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 you know, the shyer guy. He's a little bit clumsy. And when he's Superman, he's a super confident guy, you know, and she does about the same thing and she does it pretty well. So that's not bad. The rest of the cast is a little mediocre. Callista Flockhart's in it. I believe she was Ally McBeal at one point. She plays a role of a very, very, a, blunt uh business owner she's the one who owns the media company that uh kara zorel works for so acting's not so great they have a couple other main characters but i really just don't care about them too much it is still the pilot so you gotta let a little bit of that warm up but you know it just didn't didn't come out and strike me it like wasn't i would like, like it too it wasn't like gotham didn't grab you from the yeah gra- gotham it was like hey watch this show i was like or okay, daredevil was... actually we've had some some daredevil pilots mm-hmm. so um so, from our first yeah. career but yeah i mean narcos that was a great pilot too so um but yeah so let's move on to the story the story so far it's really hard to judge the story again i'm gonna give it a break here because it's just the pilot it's just setting up the overall broad episodic plot that's going to happen and unfold throughout the season. And so it's not horrible. It's an interesting idea. You definitely will have reason to watch every week. You'll know why there's a bad guy showing up. That Fort Ross thing was good enough as any explanation to why all these different bad guys are going to start popping up. So you have that as well. Um, but it, it's again, it's only the pilot, so I'm not really going to judge it here or there. It could get better. It could get worse. Who knows? Um, but question that's that. for you? But, yeah. Related to what you just said, does it seem like this is going to go for an episodic uh, style rather than a, a serial style? So is this going to be totally just, an episodic style? Totally, an which is probably style. good for a Superman, Supergirl character. Yeah, but but we have seen it, um, serial kind of work for several of the other superheroes lately. That, but so that's just again, that's wondering. the ten episode seasons. This is probably more on tap for like a twenty four episode, twenty two episode season. So. Yeah, you got to structure it a little so bit. So this is going to be one, too, that you could even probably just maybe watch the pilot, maybe not, and just skip around and just watch whenever you want. Mm, yeah, maybe watch the pilot to introduce the characters and then see where everything is from there. Um, but then the the dialogue towards everything, usually I want that to move the story forward. Again, there's not much of a story quite yet just because it just started. So dialogue's not bad. It's not good. It's I'm not convinced. But, hey, whatever. It's just there. So, in synopsis, the whole thing eh, gives me a meh. Is it something I would totally want to wait every Monday night at 8 o'clock to watch? No, no. Is it something that I would probably watch a good chunk of the episodes if it was up on Netflix? Sure. Yeah, no problem. But so far, not so good. You know, I, nothing really grabbed me. Uh, again, the main character is, is a pretty decent part, but... You just kind of say it's setting up some of the things that I didn't like from uh, especially like Arrow and stuff like that is it's a little more of the soap opera that I don't think needs to be involved with these stories. The love stories and everything like that is very integral to a lot of these superhero stories. So that's not what I'm talking about. It's just they're setting up love love triangles already for no reason. And it's just like, come on, mm-hmm. really? Any um, high points? Was there good action? Did they show yeah, the action? action was uh, the action was all right. It, I mean, you could tell it was a TV show. It wasn't like any high budget action. It wasn't crazy good, uh, but it wasn't bad. She does catch a plane at one point, so that was pretty cool. Hmm. I wish like I could catch classic. a plane. That is, that is oh, but, but so well, she... and Jimmy Olsen even says something to her. He's like, you know, the first thing that Superman did uh, when he announced himself to the world was catch a plane, and so 
So yeah. of course she catches a plane too. So, you know, every all in all, I'm gonna give it, you know, maybe a two and a half out of five Chewbacca chainsaws. It, it mm, that's almost might in be, bad. Might be more towards yeah, that's towards the bad side, yes. That we've had horrible movies side. get that, I think. Yeah. So that's towards the bad side. That's it might appeal to some people more than it appealed to me. It just didn't really seem to hit the mark with me. But that doesn't mean it's not for anyone. Uh, do I see this show becoming a hit success? Absolutely not. I just kind of see it floating into the mythos of what they're trying to do. And it's obviously not connected to anything going on with the WB. It's not connected to anything going on with the DC movies. So it's just kind of floating out all on its own. Not connected also, to any did. of these that, growing DC universes. That's surprising because so. they had been really working on... Uh, connecting at least the TV series, it seemed like. Yeah, well, this one's on CBS, and the other ones are on WB, so oh. it doesn't doesn't feel so like they'll they connect them. Okay. They, 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 might, they might surprise you. They could throw a cameo of Arrow or Flash in there, and that'd be fine, but it, I don't think it would quite fit. So and Probably the licensing yeah. was a little different on this one then, so to yeah. give it to CBS. So. But again, it could get better. It's just a pilot, so I don't want to condemn it as of yet. I want to watch a couple more episodes. I usually like to get three or four episodes in before I really judge something, but... That's my review. So let us know what you think. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Hit us up. Comments down below, of course, at Words My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways getting a hold of us. Uh-huh.